14 of the 24 member Edo State House of Assembly have declared their loyalty to the All Progressive Congress APC. The lawmakers who have been on self-exile over issues bordering on the inauguration of the Assembly on June 17, 2019, stated this shortly after Governor Godwin Obaseki dumped the APC for the People's Democratic Party. Obaseki resigned his membership of the APC after meeting with President Muhammadu Buhari at the presidential villa on Tuesday. The governor was last Friday disqualified by the APC from contesting the forthcoming governorship primary of the party in Edo over alleged discrepancies in his certificates. All the 24 state legislators in Edo are members of the APC. The decision of the 14 lawmakers indicates Obaseki, who is seeking a second term, does not enjoy the support of majority of the lawmakers of the Edo Assembly. The lawmakers belong to camp of former governor of the state and national chairman of the party, Adam Sushumole. Recall that Governor Obaseki had a few days ago announced a three-man committee which has played two state governor, Solomon Lalong, Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwolu and Senator Ehige Uzameri to reconcile the lawmakers and bring them into the House as part of his efforts to reconcile the sharply divided APC in the state. Wow. I don't think uh, this, uh, this lawmakers, they have never even been with him in the first place. So, of course, automatically, naturally, or by default, even as much Obaseki has already left the party. So the honorable thing for them to do, they can't even continue to be with them unless, unless because they are still in the APC party. So they are not going with him, of course, uh, judging from what they've been going through since uh, the incident happened. So it is normal. By default, they will still be loyal to APC. Of course, they are not, they've not really been in good time. So um, I don't think they really abandoned him. Of course, he was he's the one that even left the party. So, you know, he said uh, he's going to say something after he's going to tell Nigerians or the public or his supporters his next move after he must have uh, seen uh, the president. And that is exactly what he has done. Well, they know what they've discussed. But, of course, a lot of people have been telling him that he needs to be fast. He needs to act fast and and cross to the other side. And some people are of the opinion that even if, peradventure, if he does not win at the end of the day, that they will know he will know that he has already... Uh, 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 been able to put up a fight and this issue of a godfatherism since they, they've been say, saying it himself and the deputy that Oshomole taught them how to fight godfatherism in the state which he fought some powerful people in those states and that is exactly what they have been doing he taught them and they are learning from him so people believe that for him to even put up the, the fight at least it shows that he's a strong person he's not a push over you know people always relate with a uh, ambody and um, ambody this ambody that that's it to tell you that uh, they are men they are men even at the end of the day if he does not win or if he does not get what he wants but he will know that no matter what he has been able to you know make a point prove a point that is just my own opinion but they should do better than what they are doing now we need to we need to get a dividends of democracy fully. What they have been doing is they are just scratching the surface. They are scratching the surface as far as a governance and development is concerned. Of course, it's, he has been saying he did this, he did this, he did that. Of course, they have not even been, they've not accused him of embezzlement or whether he has a mismanaged or misappropriate funds. The APC uh, people who are on the other side with Ushumole, they've not accused him of that. I think uh, that is one of the things that will be giving him the kind of encouragement that the only thing they will always want to use against you if you have dipped your hands inside a cookie jar when you have already taken money that belongs to the masses. That is what they always use against uh, most of uh, these uh, people. Okay, someone said, I want all the referees in this match to be neutral. Selfish interest and arrogance is killing Edo people. They are too proud. Even rats among them will come out and call himself elephants. I listen to all their conversations since they start this political nonsense. Both who again and support Eida Oshomole or Baseki speak without respect for one another. Very disgusting. Okay. Uh, you people should forget Obaseki because in politics, career are, has come to an end. He can never be governor and get ticket from PDP because of in fake certificates. Even, even, even if eventually choose as uh, PDP, 
if, if he's been choosing as PDP candidates and win the election, he will still be disqualified by the courts. Is he, has, he, has he not gone to the courts? I don't even know what people are saying. You know. Has he not gone to the courts before? Is he not the same PD, PDP? We need to be neutral. Somebody has to be neutral. Say things in, you know, in, 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 in all perspective, in, in a proper, in a normal perspective. You know, some people are just sentimental. Is it not the same PDP that took him to court? up to the Supreme Court. He won them and they threw all of those things out. Unless maybe they are telling us that uh, the court did uh, some abracadabra, which you cannot uh, rule out. Unless on that note. But if it's the same court that they want to go with the certificate that he was able to win the whole thing, you are now expect uh, what, what to happen. It's not going to happen. So even paraventure he wins on the platform of uh, PDP and APC wants to take him to court again. The same way the uh, PDP took him to court, APC will still take him to court. And the same way, they are still going to see trash all those things. But one thing I believe is that these politicians, they they, they are the same. And, and I'm still saying is, forget all this uh, quarrel between two of them. So forget all the things that they have said to each other. Of course, they've not even uh, uh, damaged their efforts, uh, damaged their image, unlike the way... Uh, what is it called? Uh, what is this man's name? Oshomole did to Heze Yamu. They've not been able to, they've not even gotten to that level. And I'm sure this guy is not even going to, he's not going to go uh, in that route. Even if Oshomole wants to go in that route, he has even done it before. Even if he wants to do, go in that route, nobody will believe him because people are always quoting him. He said this, he, he said this, he said that. Oh, they're not going to believe him. So they will still take him to court. Once they take him to court, the same court that vindicated him the last time will still. Uh, vindicate him again. So PDP and APC, they are brothers and what? They are brothers and sisters. They they mingle together. They do things together. So it is not a surprising thing that two of them can see come back and begin begin to make friends. Another says here that uh, okay, even if eventually choose PDP as a candidate and if PDP choose him as a candidate and win the election, will be disqualified in court. For that reason, I don't see Obaseki coming back to a those states as a governor. Uh, Obaseki is finished. Hmm. Wow. That is expected of them. Uh, the battle line has finally uh, been drawn. As a matter of fact, the political development is getting more interesting. We are watching with keen interest. Okay. From fire, fry pan to fire. When Obaseki is tired of all the worker, worker is supporters' eyes with clear. Another says there that a fragile situation in that house, in that state, Hope the lawmakers will speak with one voice in the interest of their people, not on a parochial, parochial line or a parochial line or whichever way. How Obaseki sure of these ten lawmakers will go with him to PDP? Uh, are they sure? Are we, is he sure that they will? Are you sure that they will not betray him and impeach him and deputy before their tenor hands? Okay, they were only elected, but not uh, lawmakers. Think well. You people, you refuse to represent. Represent? Can you see? Ask them for vote again. The inauguration came too late. You ought to have uh, done this. Done this for a very long time. No measure can be re remedy your predicaments. Okay. There are still elected members of a do state house of assembly until the court say otherwise. Remember, remind you, or mind you, the case is seen in court. Only the court and I neck have the right to do so. Their sacrifice, sacrifice will never allow them to follow Obaseki because EFCC will definitely run after them to expose their atrocities. They are useless people. Obaseki is a good, is God fearing man who has taken all necessary cautions and precautions to make peace reign, but to no avail by the ruling party. We say kudos to Obaseki. Some say they are slaves to Shomole and his court. What do you expect them? What do you expect them? Uh, what do you expect from them? The battle line has just been drawn. It is policies. This is really policy. Fourteen homeless wanderers. I think it is merely uh, the abandoned governor Obaseki sinking boat. Don't be surprised should the remaining members loyal to Obaseki follow suit. Okay, Obaseki all the way. Obaseki is a gunner. Okay, the fourteen lawmakers absconded since the masses voted them voted for them instead of reporting. Uh, for inauguration, they prefer to be in Abuja to execute lucrative contracts for their personal interests. Okay, it is not a new new thing again. Look for something as to write. Those fourteen people are not members of a do state house of assembly because they have not been inaugurated and will never be inaugurated because 
their seats have been declared vacant so they are powerless and harmless like rabbits like rabbits <laughs> so safe, eh? okay they are former lawmakers their seat is vacant okay let's hear your opinion guys what do you think leave your comment below and let's have your take thank you